directions so the directions from one marker to the other and in this particular case we are going to do the directions between the driver and the customer the pickup location in this case and I've uh, tried to do it and I got pretty far but then I realized it would be extremely hard to explain to you guys and so I tried to figure out what better and easier ways there were to, to do this. And so I came across an API, a library that's, and I'll drag it over here, and it is called Google Directions Android. And it does basically what I was trying to accomplish and because of that, we are going to use it. Uh, so yeah, it is pretty simple to, to implement and so I believe it is for the best to use this because I've said before and I'll say it again if something exists don't try to to do it again especially because they are doing exactly what I was um, in the process of making so big shout out to these guys uh, be sure to to put in your app that you are using these libraries and give them the, the proper shout out uh, because there's no shame in using other people's libraries everybody does it including the big ones like spotify instagram you can go in their settings menu and there there are all the libraries and third-party apis that they are using and because of that no worries just be sure to have that page uh, to tell people that you are using it so to implement this uh, api we are going to grab this uh, link the, the dependency Go inside the Gradle, which I have right here, you can find it in the Gradle script, build Gradle, and just copy and paste that there, and wait for the, the Gradle to, to build. Okay, after that has finished loading, you can go into your Google Developer API Center, and you can just type consultdevelopers.google.com and you'll find it. And we are going here because we need to enable one API that Google provides, which is the Directions API. So if you already have the Google Maps API uh, enabled and the, the number, the API key in your Android manifest, then you only need to activate the Directions, which is this one, Google Maps Directions API, and just enable it. I have, I have it enabled already, so if you already have the Maps, Google Maps API enabled and with the proper key uh, in your manifest uh, file, then that's it, you don't need to do anything else, otherwise please go to a Google Maps API, uh, enable it and then copy the, the key to your project manifest. Okay, so now that it's done. You can go ahead and go into our driver map the map activity. You can close all of this. The driver map activity. There we go. And now you are going to grab uh, the code that they provide in, in their APIs. Not this. Where is it? This here. Okay. And we can go up top, go to sample. And I'm going here because they already have everything done, so it is a really good API, really well explained. So big shout out to these guys again, because they deserve it, without a doubt. And let's go below. Oh, okay. And you can see that you have, you basically make a call for a, a route, which is this part here, and I'm just going to explain to you. Uh, this part here and you can say by either by driving walking and we are going to use driving of course then we are going to have a listener uh, we are not going to use alternative routes but it is a cool feature to have and then the only thing that we actually need is the start and end latitude longitude variable so we already have those because we where we'll put this is uh, when the driver actually finds the the a customer for for him and um, yeah you can have access to the the co coordinates right at that second so then we have these listeners uh, these uh, functions methods better yet that uh, and the most important one is the routing success 
because then we can go ahead and use polylines which is a variable that allows you to uh, basically draw uh, very line uh, a lot of lines and then and these lines will represent streets obviously so that way it is really then uh, easy to to do everything so yeah now we can actually go ahead and let me just check one thing one name okay and we are going to use the routing listeners so we can go in up top and on the implements can do it on the first but let's put it on the last and just say routing listener now uh, you'll see an error pop up and to resolve it is because we don't have the methods implemented so it is finding strange to have this routing listener and no methods to resolve it all you have to do is click alt enter and implement methods okay and all of these should appear and everything is done we are not going to to mess with them for now let's just go where we want the, the uh, this routing to begin and again let me just check one more thing really sorry about that but i i forgot where we are going to oh okay okay no okay so we will call for uh, make, make a call for the the route to build in the get assigned customer pickup location and so let's go into that function get assigned customer pickup location pick up, not pickup destination pickup location here we go and now we are going to call make a call for a function and this function is we are going to create it so we call it get route to marker and say pick up let long and uh, I'm changing the names because it makes no sense to call it driver let long in here so let's uh, change that and create this function Again, Alt Enter, and you can create the method right here, as easy as that. And now let's go back into our uh, library page and scroll down till we can find this. This is the call for the the routing to begin. So just copy and paste that. Import a class. Import a class. And then the start, the end will be the pickup let long, and the start will be the new let long uh, and last location dot get latitude. This is the last location, and as you can remember, uh, this and last location is of the type uh, location, I believe. Uh, and because of that we must change it into let and long and this is what this all does and let's just say and last location dot get longitude obviously so yeah we are going to disable alternate uh, routes it is driving and yeah that's everything and now we can yeah we can move away and go into our methods that are recently created and we have uh, the on routing uh, success and on routing failure will be the ones that we are going to focus on on this particular lesson so we can collapse th those ones and let's again go back into the library the library page and just grab the on routing failure and this will be called anytime there is a, a failure and the most current one from what I've been tested is that the, um, the app for some reason doesn't uh, uh, know that we have the API enabled and so it will say that you've, uh, how can I say it, you've ended all because 
with this API, the destination API, and I'm not talking about this specific one, the, the, the routing, I'm talking about the Google destination API. You have like uh, 2500 uh, that you, uh, requests that you can make per day, and so if you end those, it will start giving an error saying that you need to pay for more. So that's a common error, and if you start getting more people, you will have to pay for for this API, the Google Destinations API. Um, okay, so this is just for for errors, and now we are going to grab the polylines, and this is the interesting part, and you can just grab it. This part, this if. Okay. And we'll need to, to do something more, but on routing success. And just add everything. Polylines options. Da -da. And here it is not M map, it is M map. Okay, now routes. Change this array list to routes. It is already defined in the scope. Let me check one more thing. Okay, and now change this to shortest route index. And then almost all errors should disappear. And now we only have variables that we need to, to call. So we can go again inside here, scroll up top, and grab the last two, the polylines and the colors. Just copy and paste that. And now we can, these colors aren't important, so we can actually just leave one. Yeah, because these colors work for the for the um, the point if if you want the alternate uh, alternate uh, routes then you will want a lot of colors and you can just place them here and it will automatically go through the colors and pick different ones so but for now because we only need one color then let's go with this it is more than enough and but now we still need to do some things we need to first of all start the polylines and to do that, we can go in here and it has everything. So polylines equals to new array list. Let's go to onCreate method and actually start it. And then we need to erase the polylines every time um, a request is cancelled or you've reached a destination. Uh, but for now, I'm only going to, um, to do the part of the cancelling uh, right because the other of resting a destination will be done in the next uh, lesson. So yeah, let's create a, a, a function here. And let me just check one thing. Yeah, okay. So private void erase polylines and now we all you have to do is say for polyline and we are going to have to erase line by line so for polyline uh, now polylines and this is our variable so it will check for each line inside the polylines and give it a name of line. We say line dot remove. And then we have to erase the, um, the array. And so we say polylines dot clear. And that's it. Now we need to actually call it. And we are going to call it on the get assigned customer. This is for the cancellation of the, the ride. So get assigned customer, here we are. And uh, in this else, which is the thing that indicates to us that the ride has been canceled, you can just call it there and that's it. 
Now let's run the app and see if it does what we expect it to do. So it has finished loading and on my phone I have the driver and in here I have the, um, the customer. So let's go ahead and call the Uber. And as you can see, uh, a distant, uh, route is uh, drawn and I can zoom in and you can see it. It also give, uh, gives us the, 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 the distance and the time to get to it. So it is a really good API it, it, a library. It is really well designed. So thank you, all, thank you to the, the guys that did it. Again, I'm going to shout them out. Uh, M as that or JD Alexander. So I'll leave the link uh, down below in the comment section for this library. Uh, big shout out to those guys. They get a start from me. So yeah, uh, what can what else can I say? So um, in the next lesson we'll probably do the connection to the github because i've been asked a lot for it so i'll finally do it i'm sorry for um, for the guys that wanted it and didn't get it in time but i'll get around to do it and yeah please do subscribe and leave a like it helps me a lot and i'll see you again